most of the citizens in this country believe that the legislature and the executive are directly responsible for the failure of this country. And uh, they do not try to find fault with the judiciary. Entire nation right now, uh, they are worrying what is going to happen in this country. Now the world community has declared Sri Lanka bankrupt, which is a fact. But now we are not in a position to pay our loans. And therefore they have declared Sri Lanka a bankrupt nation. Corruption in the legislature and the executive is the root cause. Nobody tried to find fault with the judiciary. But I absolutely disagree. The real reason for all this failure is the judiciary in this country. If the judiciary has fearlessly upheld the rule of law, this would never have happened. I will give you a series of examples. And most of the citizens of this country is unaware of exactly what went wrong with the judiciary. Right now, the judiciary of the Republic of Sri Lanka is under the firm grip of the legislature and the executive. Executive president appoints the judges to the court of appeal and the, uh, the Supreme Court. There's a special provision in the constitution which states, the judicial power of the people shall be exercised by the parliament, which, is, which shall not be the case. Judicial power of the people should have been exercised directly by the judiciary. This is the very reason why Sri Lanka failed. I will give you five or six cases for you and highlight the areas where the judiciary of this country failed.